Oh guys, this is so clear. Picture perfect. I forgot to put the tape on my coil, but I can see it. It's nice and clear. Waves non-existent. It's going to be a great day. I hope there's something here and this is going to pan out. I'm just going to work this back and forth before everybody gets here. Got the wife today. She's going to be setting up and laying out. I'll be using beach. Um, let me see, which one do I have in a dive mode? I like the dive mode. Uh, that would be program 10. It's a little quieter. Here we go. Just saw a stingray, guys. I was going to show it to you. He was right in front of me going shallow. That's not what you want to hit. I don't know where he went. Huh. Having a little bit of an issue with the dais. For some reason, it keeps cutting out like the antenna's not connected. I don't know if the antenna's got a break in it. If this does it again, I'm going to switch to that uh, to the legend. Hey guys, let me assure you that it was not the battery. I know a lot of people will be thinking it's a setting, I didn't charge it enough. But that's not the case. When I got out of the water, it worked just fine. It had a full charge. So that told me that it was the antenna. And sure enough, I got the antenna replaced and it worked just fine. I haven't had a problem since. So let me show you what the cable looks like. And it doesn't mean just because your cable, your antenna, when I mean cable, it doesn't mean that if your antenna is black like I have, that it's bad. It's just, I think mine got crimped or pinched or somehow broke that little bit. It's nothing more than a coaxial cable. So take a look at it right here. I noticed early on, within a month after I bought this, that my antenna was starting to turn black from the salt water. I mentioned it to a few people and I just kept it on it. Well, a little over a year, it finally went out here at the beach, so I suspect that I, it probably broke, but it should look like the antenna on the top. Now this is my antenna wire. It's black on one end and clear on the other, just like the one on the top. That's what it should look like but it ended up turning black so i replaced it right here's a receipt myers metal detectors got me out a uh, replacement and got it within i don't know a couple of days thanks phil for that fast turnaround and i haven't had a problem since guys it works just fine now in the water well, guys that brings me to my next point always always when you go on a trip have another detector I got burned a couple of years ago. I had the Equinox 800 and I had a nice planned vacation with a wife. I was in the water and it flooded. And I had another honey hole I was just dying to hit. And I didn't bring my other detector. So I learned my lesson. So now I've got another detector. I bought the Legend and I've had it. I use that mostly for relic hunting. Now, I've never used it in the water, so it was a quick learning curve. It kind of forced me to, you know, to get more proficient with that in the water. So I'm going to transition to that. And then I ended up finding a nice, uh, well, you'll see here shortly. Here we go. Here's a 45 repeatable. Switched over to the Legend. Could be the first target in the water with the Legend. Nope. Still there. Let's try right here. I think I got it. Where we got? Got us a dime. Ooh, guys, what a morning, man! It's ten o'clock. I just feel like now I'm getting going now to recap started out with the XP Davis 2 and it was shutting not shutting on off the coil was it uh, hitting with the antenna is my guess I mean it was dead quiet I would check nothing and then it would work nothing so 
I'm, I'm pretty sure the antenna is shot. It's over a year old. It's black in some areas, so this is why you always have a backup. So first time using the legend in the water. It's a little noisy. I've done some uh, adjustments. I'm just not the expert in this. Guys, second target coming up right here. Loud and clear. Thank God. I'm telling you, it's been an hour. I haven't had crap. Take it back to the line, Mr. Horse. Go together. That could be. Come on. I got a big scoop down. Oh, I don't hear it, guys. Please, please turn around. Good luck. Come my way. <gasps> yep, look at there. They tell me that ain't sterling silver. Oh, yeah, let's make sure there's nothing else. Nice. Oh, I needed that so bad, guys. I'm telling you. Back up in the dry sand, guys, so I can dry off before I go. Got about 45 minutes. Picked up a carabiner. Nothing but that bracelet out in the water. I'm work some of this dry sand heading back. Maybe get lucky. All right, definitely got it now. Something there is a coin. Penny. Nickel. Boy, after all that, guys, I needed a drink. Got me a nice frozen drink. You can see right there. Then I ordered some fish and chips. Scarf that down. My wife and I headed home. Found uh, you know, a handful of change. I didn't show you all that. Uh, and that nice little sterling silver bracelet. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, see you on that next dig. <laughs>